So it seems like AMD is shooting for a Q4 launch for the RDNA 2 based GPUs and the RX 6000 series, according to a recent leak coming from Macquarie Z, whose name should be familiar to all of you that have been following RDNA 2 for a while. Yeah, this is the guy that was first to list the expected die size of AMD's RDNA 2 uh, GPUs before anybody else, and a few hours ago he shared a bunch of new, very excited details of AMD's brand new architecture specifically meant for gaming. And as we can see, yes, Q4 is once again being mentioned. And I'm saying once again because, in fact, last week another well-known ship leaker known as WJM47196 mentioned Q4 as well. Now, WJM47196 has been correct a few times before. For example, this leaker has been sharing details of how the development of the RDNA 2 flagship has been shaping up and he also shared specifications and overall performance numbers. The same guy also pointed out that AMD would unveil more information of RDNA 2 and its GPU roadmap at CES in 2020 and he also revealed that Radeon RX 590 would be launching by the end of 2018. He also correctly predicted that Radeon 7 was gonna come out in early 2019 and that 7 nanometer Navi mainstream cards would arrive before the high-end variants in 2019. And yeah, again, all of this turned out to be accurate. Anyway, according to Akuria Z, AMD is shooting for in November 2020 with RDNA 2. And at the same breath, he also mentions that there are no orders for the Navi GPU yet. And this means that we're probably only going to see reference cards at launch and that we might have to wait several months before we start seeing custom design boards start popping up on the market. Again guys, this is the second time we see the same information being leaked in November. Now remember last week, WJM47196 said the exact same thing. Now why is this happening? Well, it seems like there's been a few delays in the design phase which now have led to IIBs such as Gigabyte, MSI, Asus and Sapphire possibly missing out on the launch window to offer their custom designs for Big Navi due to lack of time. Now before we start freaking out, I think it's worth keeping in mind though, yes, in these reference coolers, they used to suck. We can all agree on that, but here is the cool thing. AMD is in fact introducing a brand new reference cooler this time around. See this picture? This is in fact a sneak peek of what their new reference cooler will look like. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can expect better cooling performance this time around. I mean, it can't get much worse, right? But that being said, it doesn't change the fact that this whole thing is very disappointing, especially knowing that we've already seen leaked custom designs and pair cards. And this is definitely putting AMD in a tricky situation because if the cooler doesn't deliver like many of the past coolers, well, it could mean a lot of trouble for AMD. So a lot of people are hoping for Big Navi to be a success. And if AMD doesn't end up delivering, well, that would be very disappointing. Anyway, let's Let's pray and hope that the reference cooler doesn't suck. Let's take a quick peek at the most recent, most reliable leaked specs for all three GPUs. And keep in mind guys, AMD will use same GPUs in several of their graphics cards. And just to clarify, yes, there will be a lot more than three RDNA 2 cards available. Now we do have some pretty strong beliefs that Big Navi or 6900 XT is getting GDDR6 memory and not HBM2, where the latter one seems to be targeting pro consumers and not gamers, which to me sounds like a smart move knowing that HPM2 memory requires a 2.5D design leading to a vastly different chip design due to different memory controllers and this is resulting in a more expensive card with all things considered. As for process node, we finally do have some pretty good evidence that RDNA 2 seemed to go down the same uh, N7P process node as SAN3 which should result in a nice power and performance boost over the SAN2 based 7 node. And this leak by the way should confirm that AMD's cards should be more power efficient than Nvidia's Samsung's 8 nanometer, which essentially is a 10 nanometer refresh. Now, speaking of the green team, here's what Nvidia's lineup looks like right now in terms of specifications. Now, it is very hard to do apples to apples comparison between Nvidia and AMD because you know each architecture look a lot different, and even doing rough teraflop comparisons don't really work either. For example, Big Navi is set to offer 17.5 teraflops 
decent performance for example, but still that doesn't really say that much, we gonna have to wait until we start seeing uh, benchmarks before we know how RDNA 2 will perform in game. But I do think it's worth saying again, RDNA 2 is the first real architecture specifically meant for gaming, as the first gen still had a lot of bits and pieces left from GCN, and RDNA 2 is supposed to be that new design that we as gamers have been waiting for for a very 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 long time from amd anyway guys i do think we got some very exciting times ahead of us who's gonna be the standing winner is it gonna be nvidia or is it gonna be amd who are you waiting for list it down below you'll find tons of details of both cards my name is robin and i want to thank you so much for sticking around this long 